Hello from GNHL.com, this is Mark Joe C. Today I'm going to do a review on this weapon here. This is the United Cutlery uh, Crazy <laughs> Survival Spear, uh, M48 Spear. Now let's take a look at the most interesting part of this weapon. The whole um, staff here is made with uh, some kind of hard plastic and it's very durable, trust me. And here the uh, spear is made of stainless steel. Okay, here it comes. You can see that it comes with a uh, protection, like uh, scabbard or protect, protecting cover. Now you have to unplug this and then slide it off like so. Wow, look at that, eh? <laughs> Just looking at how meaty the spear is, you know this is for zombies. Okay? Look at that. How meaty. Wow. Like, this is really freaky. Okay? It's very meaty, very nice and sharp. And, yeah, this thing comes sharp. Okay? It comes sharpened. You can see the edge here. The finish on the uh, silver side here, the polished side, it's more of a um, rough uh, finish that is meant for abusive use. You know, you won't scratch it and stuff like that. It's not a mirror polish kind of finish. And it also have a very nice edge. Uh, here you can see that it's not like a knife where it have a small tiny edge here uh, for cutting. This is all the way sharpened from here to the very end here it's all one slope and then the two side go like that and form a diamond kind of a geometry so it's sharpened like a spear or even like a sword kind of thing the tip is very very um, sharp and it's durable and now we'll test it out so guys um, this thing here it's not very long and most people are complaining about the spear being too short. Actually, I like it being short. <laughs> Let me show you some uh, reasons later on, okay? Now let's do some tests with this first. Now we'll try soft target. Soft target is paper, okay? We'll be holding the spear by the grip here. You can see that there are some grooves for your fingers. So you can basically grab around like that and use it like a knife. So, yeah, let's test it out and see if it's sharp. Not bad. It cuts. Okay, it does cut. The other side. Oops. Okay, it cuts. It's not crazy, scary kind of razor sharp, but, oh well, you know what? This is not a knife, right? It's a spear. So, you don't need it to be ultra sharp to be a spear. It needs to be durable, pointy, and have an edge. That's it. You can always touch up the edge a bit, okay? It's not crazy sharp. But then let me show you this. Second target. Cardboard, okay? You see how um, it's smashed into the cardboard? And form this. Okay, this is pretty good. Try again. Next one. Very nice, eh? It, it's just the right size, not too long, and you can hold it by here and do your chopping. Okay, hold it by here and do your cutting and slicing. And then you can hold up by here to do your stabbing. Now let's try the uh, tip out. Okay, the tip right now is in perfect condition. We'll be stabbing onto a can. Whoa! It slides through the can like butter. Ding! No damage to the to the tip. Sharp and sexy and you can see that the um, hole here is very sexy as well I mean yeah okay so let's do it again 
Okay. One more sexy hole. Ooh, look at that. Big and sexy. And here you see the spear is intact. Very nice. Okay. So let me feel the edge and the tip. Yeah, I can feel a tiny, 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 tiny bend. Not like a bend, but it's like a thing here. <laughs> okay, tiny thing. It's not a big deal. You can always uh, fix it up with a little stone or whatever, and then just polish it two times and it'll be good. Now, back to the uh, technical part. After our test of the three levels of target that I usually do, paper, uh, soft, medium target, cardboard, and hard target cans. After all that, you know that the spear is not for show. This thing can be really uh, something that you can use uh, in the wild or whatever situation. And there are videos on YouTube showing people stabbing uh, doors, cars, and stuff like that with this spear. So I don't need to show that here. What you can find here and not in other videos or other channels is the martial art aspect of uh, that martial art opinion. <laughs> so because I, uh, I teach martial art and uh, there's a lot of years there with the background and stuff. As you can see at my back here, there are some other spears. Uh, including Cold Steel Boar Spear, uh, the Japanese style spear, Kung Fu Spear, a lot of different kinds of spears. And they're all very long. Uh, spears are meant to be pole arms, so they're very long, right? And the main thing about spear is that you want to extend the distance so that you and the opponent, or whatever, pig, boar, whatever, human, okay, you want to extend the distance with the person. Now this thing here is short. Now you will be wondering why you want a short spear. Okay, and in uh, martial arts there are short spears. And short spears are good for indoor, close range, and also for different kind of techniques. Spears, okay, they, uh, the spear have two edge edges and a pointy tip. The edges here, they can be used for uh, a few techniques. First, you can use the edge to go like that and cut right to the neck. Okay, again, go like that and bang to the neck. You can use the edge to do a dipping motion like that. Dip. Backward, dip. Dip. When you dip, the thing go whoosh, like that and cut. Okay. And also you can use the back edge to do a reverse cut. Like that. See? Because the edge here are sharp, okay, you, when you block something with a sharp edge, it means that you're also cutting something. Now imagine this, okay? When uh, someone is going to put their hand straight through here, okay, straight through, and then you try to block it with the edge, what can happen is that their straight punch will result in a chop here. When a block, it chops their hand off, and then you slide forward. You see? When you block with a weapon, don't use the stop all the time. Use the edge to block. And it also do a damage while you block and chop up. Okay. Sometimes, okay, I know some people will say, oh, when you block directly with the edge, it's going to damage the edge and stuff like that. Well, let me tell you that realistically, okay, in war, in the fight, whatever, uh, life threatening, threatening situation that uh, you need to use a spear or a weapon. Who give a shit about the edge? You need to care about your life more than babying your weapon. In war, when you drop the weapon, okay, you pick up another one and you keep fighting, right? So these things here, okay, when you have to use it for some kind of 
dangerous purpose, you don't you don't talk about babying the edge. Okay? You can pick up other stuff to use. If this thing broke, that means that it's not good enough. You need a, another weapon. Okay? Now what I'm talking about is some practical usage. Now, take a look. Um, when you grab, when you hold the spear, you hold by one end here and one hand here. Okay? You can feel that there are some grooves or texture that even mark the place for you. One hand uh, is at the back, at the, at the hip here. Okay? The other hand is out here. The most um, common problem you see with people using spear is that they have a chicken wing. This is what you call a chicken wing. And then they lift up and stab like this. When you go like that, the force okay, goes to the go forward, but you don't have much support here. If you want to stab like this, you keep the elbows down and use the body to move and stab. You put the back hand, which is my right hand, on the hip. And now your spear point toward the uh, the opponent. Like so. And then what you can do is you can do a block, a block, and then a stab. See, everything is done by your body movement and not just the hand. Take a look. Block. Block, block, stab. The hand here is just to assist your body move and do the work. See? Pay attention to this hand, everyone. Pay attention to this hand. Block, block, stab. Block, block, circle, dip, and stab. You see? Both hands is like a, uh, a lever, okay? You see? One hand control and the other hand stays still. Like this. Block, 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 dip, step. See? One hand control, one hand stays still. Always use the body to move around like so. And this kind of spear is very good for fast and um, close range action. Okay. You can be poking and then grab, block with the staff, block, and then see, because it's not so long, okay, it's not so long, you can always change it like so. Because the spear is not long, in a small space like that, you can also do this. You see? Okay, you can be blocking, and this is a uh, this thing here is an attack. You dip forward to attack, and then flip for another one. Okay, do it faster here. Okay. You can also do it in a chain movement. See? Because it's so short, you can actually manipulate it here. Like right, so. And then. See? You can use a spear in a very compact space without worrying that this end will ping a light, ping a window, right? So, for tactical team <laughs> like whatever okay. you can take this thing and use it in a hallway apartment whatever it's very good for any kind of uh, survival situation okay. as you can see uh, the spear here see the space that you can cover with the spear for uh, defense and attack is like very amazing see for the tip, for the tip, okay, you use it to poke, to stab, and to stab there are three points. Top, 
middle, and low. The top, you want to aim right here. Okay. It's not that I am saying that you must stab a, a specific spot, but then imagine that a stab like this. Okay. Even though okay, this is the block, sorry, a block and then stab. Okay. A block and stab. This kind of stab can be stabbed to the uh, to the upper part. Imagine that goes into the face, the eyes, mouth, or the throat. Anywhere you win. Okay? Very nice. To the middle, right here, the middle. Okay? This is the middle. Not the tummy. Okay? You won't kill somebody by stabbing the tummy. You need to stab here, above the tummy. Okay? To stab here, you can always do this. Okay? You can block, okay? block, and then stab forward. When you want to do a middle, middle stabbing or thrusting, you have to use the back hand, okay, stabilize the front hand, and then push it out while the hand go and grab. Okay? You push it out like that. It's like shooting it out. Push like that. Block, shoot. See? Block and shoot very fast movement you shoot it out because it's close to the waist here you can use your back foot to push and shoot the spear out now the worst part is the low stab okay the low is hard to aim it means the groin <laughs> you want to stab their nuts to stab the nuts is not easy so there are few ways to get the nuts the first way is by stabbing. Okay? By stabbing, you want to block and stab like that. Okay? Let's try again. You want to block and then stab like that. Keep elbows down. Block, stab. Or you want to go from underneath and up like this. Okay? Go down and strike down and strike so that's the two ways to get the nut <laughs> yeah so everyone as you can see the spear here is very practical and you can see a lot of benefit about the length so no complain about it's too short and stuff like that it's just if you can use it or know how to use it or not it's a fun uh, weapon tool or whatever even if you just bring it out to the wood and swing around it's really fun one thing to note here is that there are three pegs, one, two, three, that secure the tang. You see how big the tang is? That's from here to here. Okay, that's about five, five or six inches. So the thing is very secure. It won't fail on you. It won't shatter, won't bend, it won't break apart, whatever. This is very sturdy and it's uh, a tough tool. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.